Hey everyone, first of all, the next Pony episode review is coming really soon, I promise, but I just got finished watching Rainbow Rocks. It aired on TV for the first time today, and I'm sorry if this feels really rushed, that's because it is, but I had to say something. Now, the last time that I brought up this movie, I asked everyone to please not post any spoilers until the DVD comes out, which I think is going to be a week and a half from now, and I'm going to stick to that. This is going to be a quick, spoiler-free review. So... I liked it! Holy shit, I liked it! It's not a great movie, it still has a few issues here and there, but it's legitimately good! And it shows how you can copy a familiar formula and still do it well. Last time it was a high school teen drama where they fight off the mean girl, this time it's a battle of the bands, which is how they justify all the characters forming a rock band. And I will say one thing, again without giving away too much, there's a certain character from the series who has never had the lead vocals in a song, up until now. I want to hear more of it, and I want to learn that solo that she was playing, goddammit. Now, compared to last time, my biggest complaint with the first Equestria Girls was that it seemed like the movie was being overwhelmed by fan service, whereas this time, the focus is more on the story and the characters, and the fan service feels more like it's just a nice little addition, which it should be. And the biggest improvement is that this time, whenever something feels contrived or awkward, or a character is doing something they normally wouldn't, they actually take the time to explain it! Thank you! The new one does still have some really forced moments that feel like they don't need to be there, but do you see how easy that was? How the first movie could have been so much better if they had just explained more of what was going on? In fact, when I reviewed the first movie, I gave it a 6 out of 10. In retrospect, I feel like it deserves more of a 4 out of 10, because I did specifically say that it's below average. It's everything that you've seen before, but not as good. While Rainbow Rocks is also everything you've seen before, but it's done well. And because of that, I feel like Rainbow Rocks really deserves a 6 out of 10, and it's a much more positive 6 out of 10. There's still room for improvement, but the amount of improvement that we get here is very much appreciated, and it caught me off guard in a good way. I'm not sure how much of this is a reaction to the quality of the first film, because a lot of this did feel like they were addressing issues that people complained about before, but it's such a relief that I can recommend Rainbow Rocks without apologizing or adding any qualifiers to it. I want to say more, but I feel like I can't without going into the details, so here's the biggest compliment I think I can give this movie. Last time that I talked about it, I said that I would have to wait for the DVD just so I could see it. I'm glad that I saw it on TV first, because now I really want to buy the DVD, and I want there to be a soundtrack with full versions of the songs. I already want to watch this movie again, and I'll put up a spoiler review after the DVD comes out, and I have a chance to go over it a couple more times. So, that's it. If you haven't seen the movie yet and you're still on the fence about it, I recommend it. If you had problems with the first Equestria Girls, I think this one might surprise you. I'll see you later.